Do that again. <laughs> One, two, three. Bye. <laughs> oh, right. Stop messing around. Good morning everyone and welcome back to the Pips cast. <gasps> Did you notice that we weren't here last week? <laughs> yeah, crazy. <laughs> uh, well, it's now March mm. and February has just disappeared and we were wondering where February disappeared to and then we thought about how, why we missed the Pips cast last week and it was literally because the last two weeks of February felt like they got sort of snatched away from us and we were we allowed ourselves to chase our tails didn't mm -hmm. we so as you know on the very last one that we did we had applied for our by well our email came through to apply for our biometric card yes and so within that process we needed a social security number and a health number because all of that goes on to the card mm. and that's how it works yeah. so we got into the process didn't we, we did yeah yeah but um an interesting process a yes. process that you need one thing in order to get the other which makes logical sense yeah kind of but yeah. you can't get one without the other <laughs> yeah and i suppose that makes logical sense as well when you say yeah. it like that but it just meant that we were then chasing around, trying to yeah. find out what comes first and how to do it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I suppose. Um, so mm. <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to say is in the end, mm. it was very simple, but oh, yeah. because there were time scales and we had a physical appointment mm. um, where we were going to have to do a little bit of traveling to go to this physical appointment so they could take our fingerprints and photographs and what have you we were then on a time scale we didn't want to let anybody down <laughs> so we did our best to get everything sorted within those time within scales the time scale exactly love yeah but so but it didn't work <laughs> yeah. so we left you last time where we had applied for our social security numbers that's correct i think and yes. we had help yeah. from um a lovely lady in a in the office that can help with that. Yeah, yeah. Not the Social Security office. No. But the, <clears throat> the different office. We were suggested to go there. Shall I just say that actually, um, we were suggested to go there for them to fill out the information for us for the Social Security, yes. but the system actually is that we are supposed to fill it out. Yes, you can do it all online yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which but we, it is all in Portuguese. You can get it in English if you do your Google if you do Translate. Your Google thing. Good. But uh, but yeah, so we were told to do that, but really it was for us to actually fill it out. Yes. But yeah. Yeah. So we did have help, um, mm. and the lady said, "In some days." In some days. You will receive your information to say go and get your social security number. Mm. Um, Perhaps we were a bit optimistic on the time scale there. She said some days. She did say some days. So I expected about three. I expected. <laughs> <laughs> you have no patience though, no, do you love? No. So my social security number came through in six days. Not mm -hmm. six working days, just six days from when we had applied. So we applied on the Tuesday. Mm -hmm. I got mine the following Monday, um, mm -hmm. late in the evening and we were like, yay, hey, that's great. Why did Darren not get his? Oh, we don't know. Perhaps it'll come through in the morning. Mm. So we left it a day or two and still nothing came through. So by the Thursday, we said, we'll just go and mm. we'll get mine. Yeah. And then while we're in the social security office, we can ask because if he's in the process, mm. they may be able to see what the the crack was. You might be able to see me in the process. Yeah. Considering that this is actually the Social Security office now. Not where we filled out the form office, yeah. but the actual Social Security office. That's right. Yes, we hoped that they might be able to see something. Yeah. So we went mm. and I got my Social Security number. Mm. Um, my name was incorrectly spelt, so the guy couldn't actually find it the first time round, but via my passport he found it. Yeah. And um, sort of chuckled at me for spelling my name wrong even yes. though i hadn't 
spelt it but then the lady did ask us to check all of the information and I didn't notice that my name was spelt wrong so still my fault yeah um, <clears throat> and then you asked to look yeah I said could you have a look could you say could you see if I'm even in the system somewhere because I applied I applied actually before Elaine yes. it was only five, five minutes, minutes before <laughs> but I actually was in the system first was what my thoughts were yeah. so hopefully I don't know the email was wrong or something like that and I just haven't got notification and he said no nothing in there you have got nothing in the system so he so he said how long has it been I said oh about a week or so he said apply again yeah, if I was advice. you his advice if I was you I would apply again I was like goodness me you know I don't really want to be clogging putting... the system up with the yeah. applications yeah, so I thought, okay, we'll leave it a couple more days. So I kind of ignored his advice initially and thought, we'll leave it a couple more days. I don't want to send more stuff in. But um, but yeah, so you picked up yours. I got mine. Yeah. And so then eventually you did do another application couple online of, yourself. I did. A couple of days later, I said, right, I'm going to do another application. So yeah, yeah so we did that. Um, so, yeah. so mine came through in six days. Mm. Um, and then yesterday, Yesterday, yeah, yesterday. Yesterday, yeah. Um, we were in Castella Branco getting yeah. Max sorted with some more um, Maxi stuff, and you just went ping. Yeah, my social security number. His, your so his yeah. was ready to be collected. It's ready to be collected on his original application. Yeah. So that was fifteen days after yeah. the original application. So if you're in the same process just give it some time yeah um yeah. yeah so six days so i was first but it took elaine six days and me about 15 days in the system at the same time so it's kind of didn't really make sense but it doesn't matter now we've got it we've so got it. the process yeah. from then on means now that we've got those we can now go and register for our health, health. yeah for our health number and yeah. also to get registered with a doctor mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. Even those two things are different as well. Yeah, so we yeah. have to go into Castella Branco again to get our health number yeah. to be sort of in the system to say that we're residents and, and with that. Um, and we've even been told sort of slightly different things with regard to that, saying that we have to go after 2 p.m. any day after 2 p.m. and then the office will be open. Um, so while we were in Castello Branco, we went in, was about two, three o'clock, and the gentleman on reception said, yep, you're exactly in the right place, checked like um, our info and said, but we only do that between six and 7 p.m. You can come any evening, Monday to Friday, but between six and seven when, because it's in a health center, there'll be no patients, everything is calm and quiet, we have time to do it, and that's when we do the registrations. So we're now at the point where, um, perhaps in one day, probably tomorrow, yeah. you can get your social security number, mm -hmm. then later in the evening, we can both go and get our health registration done, mm -hmm. and then that means we have all of the information we need for our biometric card. Yeah. So the one issue that we had and why we allowed ourselves to sort of tumble into this, we have to get it done, we have to get it done, was because the system um, for the biometric, for the biometric card. card gives you an appointment. And as we said, we were going to have to travel and we thought the, from, from you get a very short window in which to book your appointment to book it, yeah. and that is sort of slightly in the future for us originally the slightly in the future was two weeks wasn't it it yeah. was about 15 days so from when and, we booked it it is quite confusing because we did get confused yeah a little bit with that so what they do is they say you thank you for registering for your biometric card yeah we have now got a booking slot available for you to book yeah. That booking slot is about 10, ten days. days that you can book within. Yeah. And you're booking within that 10 days, not to go to your appointment in that 10 days, but, but for to your book appointment. for another time. 
Yeah. yeah? And that other time was about 10 days. That's Again. all it gave yeah. us, something so, 10 or 15 days. Yeah. So within the 10 days, you have to book to go to your appointment within these 10 days. Yes. Yeah, different sections. So it was a little bit confusing, but it did kind of make a bit sense once you got your head around that part of it. Yeah. So we left it till the last kind of Day, point of much. the first 10 days in order that the next 10 days we could book it at, you know, there might have been more appointments open. At the very farthest the very end of that, so we could end. get all of our information. That's it, still didn't work. <laughs> But anyway, yeah. that's, a, that's a thing, that's a thing, just to kind of bear that in mind. It does yeah. explain it, but it's a little bit... Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's, the, that's how that yeah. works. One important thing, though, I just wanted to mention, when we're going for our health, yes. what, was, what seemed really important, which we didn't think was an important... Well, throughout all of the process, well, what is important yeah. is your attestado. Yeah. That you, so it's, it's literally, this is the first piece of... Um, information that we got that we ever got really yeah and this was like for us was back in, on the 13th of August in 2020 mm. when we started to apply for our um, residency residency yeah. thank you the word just disappeared yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and because it's from our local um, Junta de Fregresia then that's like your your local mayor's office. Yes. Nothing to do with the big guys up in Castella Branco for us. No. This is just our local mayor and everybody knows her by name mm. and she pops into the school and she's <sighs> always in her office and you go and you say, I'd like to build a shed on my land. Yeah. And yeah. she says, yeah, yeah. thanks for and letting me know. That's great. Builds you out or piece of paper. she yeah. organises um, events at Christmas. Mm. We mm. went to a free... Church. Yeah. Um, concert in the church yeah. at Christmas and you know so it, she, she's like the grassroots person and we th you pay two euros each to get one of these or we did back then mm. um, just for like the printing up and, and everything but we never knew how important that attestado no. was going to be throughout many of the processes that we've, yeah, we've yeah. been in we thought now that we've got residency we would be handing over a residency document yeah because we have a paper-based one of those as well, but really that it is important, of course it is, but they're asking about the attestado and it's basically because that says exactly the, yeah. sorry, exactly where we live. So it when does. we go to the health centre, we have to be sure, they that have to be to sure right that we're one. going to the right health centre yeah. and that's how the attestado And the attestado comes in. back to that because yeah. it's, it's mm. basically a real elected person is saying yes, I know these people and I know where they live and they're real. <laughs> it does know where you live. <laughs> and we know where you live. Yeah. Um, so yes, so when you look after your attestado, as if you can you see, this is nearly three years old <laughs> and it's in perfect condition because we have We've it in after it. Um, uh, a wallet folder with all of our <laughs> life in Portugal that mm. um, comes with it. Well, that bit's so. an important thing as well because <clears throat> The, all of this paperwork that we're carrying around at the moment, which we just carry around just in case, when we get our biometric card, will be condensed, will into, be condensed this. into a card. So that's quite <laughs> Into <important>. this, <laughs> but it'll be this. Yeah. So, enough about biometric cards. Yes. We're going to be getting organised. We're nearly done. Yeah. But when you took Max in to the vet yesterday, yes, yes. so Max is all now legal. He always well, was he always legal. Was. Yeah, he always was legal. So, but we just had to update his information yes. because we're, we're now um, we're planning a short trip back to the UK. Excuse me. <clears throat> we're planning a short trip back to the UK, and as you know, the UK pet passports yeah. not the money that we paid <laughs> for them or were printed on, and then the UK went on to the uh, big old animal health certificate. We got one. Yeah, oh, right. we had one of those as well. Mm. So, 65 quid for one of those mm. in 2020. And no then boy. it was rubbish by 2021. Page. 165 quid for one of these mm -hmm. that nobody looked at when we came here. No. They looked and went, oh, that's a nice dog. <sighs> so, what we decided to do, what a lot of people do do, 
it was easier for us because we're residents is we made Max Portuguese. Yeah. <laughs> so Max is now Portuguese, <laughs> technically. We, he has a Portuguese passport. Which we got as soon as we got here. Mm -hmm. Literally because he was already registered with the vet in Castelo Branco. Yep. Um, just because of the number of times that we'd travelled backwards and forwards here. And that's where we always went um, to get the worming tablet that you have to have to travel back into the UK. So yes, in September when we got here, we got him a new one of these, 35 euros, lasts for life. Yeah. Okay. So Max is, that is his Portuguese yeah. pet passport, which will get him backward and forward between the UK and Portugal. And, yeah, and, and Europe, Europe any, actually. Yeah, uh, any number Europe. of times, as long as we keep up all of his correct vaccinations, mm -hmm which he always has anyway. Yeah. <clears throat> but when we went in September, because we'd literally just got here, mm. I couldn't find all of his existing stuff mm. to say, because the, the vet said, we could tra I could transfer the information to say what vaccinations he had had, because they all come with, um, they take a little sticker off the, vaccination bottle mm. and it has like the date and the ba the batch number and exactly what the vaccination is for mm. so but i couldn't find that info and then we found it and because we know we're going back to the uk in april we said right we'll go and get all of this updated so we took him in yesterday on his appointment okay. and um when she looked at all of the information she said ah oh, i don't like to say that your vet hasn't done it properly <laughs> but they haven't done it properly <laughs> <laughs> so there was no little sticker to say what the, the she, she'd literally copied the information off the sticker and wrote it into the information and it wasn't like with an official stamp or anything like that mm. so she said the best thing to do is We'll give him a new rabies vaccination mm. and it was due his boosters for March anyway, which was why I was booking the appointment. So everything was very fortuitous and came together quite mm. well. Because mm. um, the rabies, they have to have 30 days before traveling to make sure that it's fully effective. Mm. So that works out really well. Too. Fortuitous. Yes. Man. Yeah, it did actually nice work. Word, isn't I it? like it. Yeah, it worked okay in the end. So yeah. So, so yeah. yeah. So anyway, I suppose you know we wouldn't know whether the English vet had done it correctly in the first place. They yeah. still let us into Portugal. So yeah. Again, we're not sure what happened there, but. And then <coughs> but anyway. That so lovely, so lovely yeah, in the vet. Lovely vets. Um, yeah. They'd had an emergency come in in the morning and it had backed everybody up. Mm. So by the time we got there, there were like four dogs <laughs> in the reception area, mm. plus two outside waiting, plus us. Mm. So you know what dogs are like when they get together and none of them like to go to the vest particularly. So yeah, a bit hairy scary. <laughs> but anyway, um, she still took all the time that she needed, mm. even though our appointment was now 40 minutes later and was in her lunchtime. In her lunchtime, yeah. So we were literally locked inside the vet so nobody else could get in with her and Max. Mm. And she was just taking her time and she was going through everything and yeah. she was explaining. Because in Portugal, you also need a legal document for the rabies vaccination. Oh. And um, so this is all mm. printed out with his information and she said just pop it inside and they know that you are fully legal and she filled in the new one that he had yesterday mm. along with his boosters. Yeah. Um, she was sort of saying how, proudly about how um, Portugal's really in the last five or six years worked hard to try and eradicate rabies which is very difficult with open borders in mm -hmm. Europe mm -hmm. um, because the dogs had to be vaccinated every year but now they've done such a good job that it's every three years so there's Max barking away in the background <laughs> um, so anyway we got Max all organized and sorted and he also has um, a collar for the 
leash. leash meniasis and that lasts for 12 months also covers them for fleas and ticks as well so he's all a smart boy and ready to go too so from going from like a week well, of busyness of not getting anything done to getting everything done in a couple of days yeah and it all working yeah well basically yesterday really yesterday. it was it was mm -hmm. a lovely day we also previously talked about how our Starlink is fabulous but uses a lot of power for us and we'd looked at a small NOSH box which is a USB powered one mm. and we even got that organised yesterday. <laughs> so you've yeah. got... Um... So the Starlink is very very good. Mm -hmm. A couple of things that it doesn't work for us for it's very good for the internet that's yeah. that's all we're gonna that's all we use it for we only watch youtube really that's all we do the odd netflix don't we yeah so we only really need the starling just to watch the telly really but it uses quite a lot of power to actually power the system it uses when it's sitting when it's just got everything set up it's found its satellites or whatever it does it sits for about at about 45 watts of power and considering we're doing that on like an EcoFlow power box it can drain that power I wouldn't say quickly but we do have to be aware of the power consumption not you know not necessarily anything to do with the, the speed of the internet mm -hmm. so it's the power consumption that was causing us uh, the concerns well, not really concerns but the worries and also Starlink here in Portugal costs here in Portugal costs about 65 euros per month, month. <clears throat> so we thought we could probably get something cheaper and we'd found that so we um, the speed isn't as good the, the Starlink speed is is pretty good you know for uploading and things but we thought we'd give one of these a try this is just a 4G 5G um, router with a little 5G card inside it just that you would have in your phone exactly the same thing we tried it last night it doesn't give us as good a speed but it gives us enough speed in order to be able to watch our television upload YouTube videos watch YouTube videos things like that so we're testing that out at the moment and that will probably that well that will save us 30 pound 30 euros mm. uh, a month and uh, and should work for us. I mean, the thirty euros a month. Oh yeah, and it will use no power because yeah, it's USB. Yeah, no power. Yeah. And we can take that down onto the land as well. Yeah, because it's that. Uh, and we yeah. have tested a similar. Well, we've tested our phones down on the land, and there is a mast um, just in the eye line. Yeah, you can see it directly part. over on like yeah. the the high hill over away. So that should work really speedily just down there. Does that make any sense? I hope so. It does, yes. Okay, so there we just got a little nosh box. Yeah, so yesterday we got Max sorted. Mm. As I was doing that, your email came through for your social <laughs> security number. Um, we'd already got the, the nosh box sorted and my Portuguese telephone number. Oh yeah, we got that as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so that was all organised and then that was all before lunch. <laughs> then we went off to um, Andreas and Ghidra's new place, which is almost theirs, and had a look around and had lunch with them there. So busy day. Busy but lovely day, mm -hmm. all, all in all. So two things that we had to learn from that. One, your attestado yeah, it's quite important. is very important, so look yeah. after it really well. And two... <sighs> Get a cheap... Don't go for Starlink. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Don't do Starlink. Don't. Don't say... Shish. Oh, okay. Um, don't try and force oh, I see. a time scale. Sorry. And don't try and... <laughs> we, di we didn't come here for that kind of... <laughs> jump, 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 fast paced, fast paced. No. So why did we let ourselves get caught up in it? Because the system pulled us in. Well, I the think it was other come. people around us were saying, oh, you'll only get one chance, you'll only get one chance. And that is not the case. No, you don't. When no. you get one chance, they're not going to just let you say, no, sorry, you're going to do it. Yeah. So give yourself time. Hmm. 
don't put pressure on yourself because that's not what we came here for. No. And that's it. And get Starlink if you want. It's good. Oh, it's brilliant. Oh. If you can plug it in and you yeah. want to pay for your electric, then If you're on absolutely. the grid, go yeah. for it. Yeah. There might be one up for sale soon. Oh, so. yeah, yeah. So we've rabbited on long enough and we have lots of jobs to do because somebody's building a house mm, on, on the, the land. land. So we've got to go and do that. Yeah. So, so. thank you very much for watching. Not you. Oh. <laughs> thank you very much for watching. Um, thanks for sticking with us. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed. Um, when, when we suggest people um, that of the channels that we watch and their subscribers get a big <laughs> boost and a big when we're like rooting for them and we're cheering and we're going yay and then um our, our subscribers, subscribers go up by one every week yeah. so share share our information share with your friends and your family whether they want it or not you yeah, never know they it. might like us <laughs> <laughs> you never know but thank you very much for sticking around to the end Thanks for all your patience. Thank you for your kind words and comments. Mm. Thank you very much for watching. Yep. And we will see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.